Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Live and Dream Canada. I am extremely, extremely excited to be back here once again to share my experiences with uh, everyone. Uh, for people who see me for the first time, I am an international student studying at Lambton College, Toronto. I am doing my business management and human resources. I am also uh, working full time as a senior IT recruiter with a company called Techstaff IT Solutions. Uh, Today I have completed uh, six months in Canada and I thought it's a very good time to speak about why I chose Canada as a place to study. Uh, I'm not going to be sharing one but I'm going to be sharing five reasons why I chose and I'm sure these five reasons uh, will help you know a lot of students outside in different parts of the world to make a much more informed decision. So reason number one, uh, Canada has the top universities and colleges uh, across the entire globe. Now, if you look at this little link that I've given in the description uh, and you pull out a list of the top 200 colleges and universities, you'll find at least 25, 30 colleges and universities reflecting in Canada from that list, which shows that they, you know, Canada undoubtedly provides the best education. Uh, in fact, this is the second year in a row consecutively that Canada has scored, you know, third when it comes to providing good global education to international students. Uh, it comes number one when it comes to uh, safety for students. It ranks number one when it comes to quality of life. It stands number three when it comes to safety for women in this country. And I think uh, that's good enough reasons, uh, you know, for parents and students to pick Canada as a place to study. Uh, what I also liked about, uh, you know, the options that you get here in Canada. You can choose between a one-year course, you can choose between a two-year course, a three-year course. Uh, you know, for, for graduates, there's a PG, there's a master's, there's, you know, PhD options available. So there's a lot of variation to choose from as well. And again, you're choosing some of the best universities and colleges that is available across the entire globe. So reason number one is, you know, the best education that it provides. Okay, so now I'll talk about the second reason why I chose uh, Canada to study is because of its diversity. And uh, trust me, this becomes the most exciting part of studying uh, in Canada. Uh, let me give you an example. In Canada, the population is around 4 crores and they say 54% of the population comes from outside, from different parts of the whole world. Which means, uh, let's say you're in a classroom for around 40-45 students. You know, I can guarantee that you'll have at least 30 students coming from different parts of the whole world. Uh, so it could be a Chinese, a Korean, uh, a South African from the African continent, or uh, it could be anybody from across the whole globe. Uh, now what happens when you have so much diversity in a classroom? Uh, you know, it's mind-blowing to see the kind of ideation that happens, uh, you know, best practices that happens when we're discussing about HRK studies. It's fabulous. Now, if I extend the same concept from studying in a classroom to workplace experience, uh, it becomes even much more better. Uh, I'd like to share my own example. Uh, I have been working for the last six months as, an, as a recruiter uh, with tech staff IT solutions uh, in the recruitment space. And, uh, you know, I feel extremely happy to share that the kind of learnings that I've got about HR procedures, policies, HR systems uh, has been mind-blowing you know I the kind of learnings that I have got um, has been out of the whole world now to talk about the experience at workplace uh, you know the experience at workplace is fabulous because uh, I've been working for the last six months as a recruiter I've been interacting with hiring managers from the top five banks in Canada I've been talking with candidates you know across the US and the Canadian market in the technology space and the kind of experience, the kind of learnings that I've got about HR systems, HR procedures, the kind of best practice that I've learned has been mind-blowing. I, 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 I could not, I will not get this anywhere else. And well, you know, hence I say that a person who has studied and worked in Canada becomes uh, much more confident uh, and kind of will become a global employee. And I can challenge you that someone who studied and worked here will able to work anywhere across the whole globe uh, and hence I say reason number two you know diversity plays a very important role and that's why Canada becomes the best place to study. 
my third reason why i chose canada is because of job opportunities in canada for international students i know now this is a little surprising because uh, today i'm going to use this platform to break the myth uh, created by a lot of people saying that canada has no jobs it's difficult to find jobs in canada uh, i will not go too far i'll use my own batch of 45 students as an example uh, i am extremely confident and 100% sure that each and every one of them have got a part time job and now during my winter break all have got a full time job in some organization somewhere or the other uh, it's only is a matter of how you want to apply yourself how you want to actually use the right strategy to get the right job uh, for people who cannot get through the jobs that they like to there are ample of survival jobs i have seen people working uh, you know as a security guard and making good money i have seen people working at amazon tim hortons mcdonalds and name it and the market is hot uh, i am working as an it recruiter i manage around 25 30 different requisitions at any given point of time for the last 6 months and uh, you know i am i'm extremely glad to share that you know the market is hot canada requires people uh, it's only about using the right strategy applying yourself you know creating your right resume to actually get the right job so finally i would just like to summarize this my third point uh, with regards to uh, job opportunities uh, i'm going to i want to break some myths for sure at the end of it which people have commonly created one being uh, you know canada has no jobs two it's difficult to get job in your desired field three people have to leave and go back to their home country because there are no jobs in canada these are all myths trust me there are ample of opportunities uh, as i said before Canada market right now job market is really really hot there are ample of job opportunities outside and uh, you know the icing on the cake is uh, you know people here believe in dignity of labor so people don't shy away in doing any kinds of jobs i people i've seen people doing labor jobs and uh, you know it's and people don't look down on to them uh, when i landed in canada even i did a labor job so last but not the least uh, you know just to summarize the whole thing you know please be rest assured there are ample of job opportunities in canada the fourth point uh, is kind of correlated to the third one because uh, the third one says that there are ample of job opportunities the fourth point says uh, since you have ample of job opportunities you will make enough money to repay your education loan uh, i am extremely confident if someone is working part time or full time during his study uh, will easily make enough money uh in the current market scenario to actually repay his or her education loan uh i would like to move on to a whiteboard illustration to show you just broadly how much i have spent in the last 6 months uh you know and how much i have really earned in the last 6 months and generally people so what i'm going to do in the next is i'm going to move on to a whiteboard presentation and i'll show you broadly average international students how much do they really spend here how much did they really earn here and uh, you know how they're going to repay their education loan so it's easily possible so i hope this little illustration that i showed you uh, you know helps you know make a better choice be rest assured uh, you know just take the just take the the leap of faith trust me once you come down the ample of jobs you'll repay your education loan in fact you'll save some money for future as well and the future is bright uh, the job market is good they pay well uh, So finally the fifth reason uh, you know why we all choose Canada is because of its PR pathway so there's no doubt about it we are all we are all as international students choosing to study outside because uh, we all want to get uh, you know we're all striving towards that PR pathway so finally the, the 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 fifth and the most important reason why we should choose Canada is because of its PR pathway that it offers uh, in my opinion uh, Canada has the most friendly PR pathway for international students. Uh, I'm going to share a small link in the description down below, which uh, which is there, uh, which is IRCC's own website, which talks about uh, 60% of international students who finish one year of study and one year of working with a Canadian employee under a particular NOC code or a NOC code uh, will get uh, into a PR program for sure, which. 
doesn't mean that the other 40 percent will have to go back uh, which means the other 40 percent uh, who are maybe were were the above the age of 30 35 or 40 like me uh, would actually have to choose uh, a provincial nominee program which are again designed in such a manner which are more international student friendly so the point system will favor international students the point system will favor students who have work experience with a Canadian employee under a particular NOC code. Uh, so the point I'm trying to make here is, you know, the likelihood of getting a PR uh, in Canada versus any other country like Australia, uh, UK or anywhere else that you're evaluating, the likelihood of getting uh, a PR with Canada is really, really, really high. And hence, I think that becomes the most important reason why one should choose Canada as a place and that's the reason why I chose uh, Canada. So finally just to summarize this little video you know we all have our own reasons to choose Canada. Uh, my personal reason for choosing Canada as a place to study is uh, because of its beauty. Beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. I was here in 2019 and uh, you know I fell in love with the place. I fell in love with uh, the beauty of Canada had to offer, the discipline that people lived. I fell in love with the lifestyle, I fell in love with the work, I fell in love with the people. I loved everything that I saw in Canada. And that was my personal choice for coming and staying here. So finally, just to summarize this whole discussion, you know, everybody has their own uh, choices to make. Uh, these are my five reasons why I think one should uh, choose Canada to study. Uh, but yes, my own personal reason is because I fell in love with the beauty of Canada. Uh, besides these five things, I found uh, you know Canada to be extremely beautiful. I had been here in 2019 with my wife and uh, I fell in love with the place. I fell in love with the houses. I fell in love with everything that I saw. And uh, that uh, I made my decision that I would actually move ahead. So I'm going to wish everybody you know all the very best to make their choice to come to Canada. If there's anything else that you would like to know uh, with regards to my moving to Canada, feel free to comment down in the section, in the comment box below, and I would be more than happy to you know make a follow-up video on that. Thank you. All the very best.